I love it, man. The awesome thing about being right is when you give someone advice and they don't take it, they look stupid in the end. So it's kind of hard for me to not troll you guys and keep just posting Skyrim stuff now. Just because I know you guys want me to kiss your butts. you be like, oh, well, I see the light, good, blah, blah, blah. But really, it's all trash to me. I'm just going to do a new game here. I've been giving advice for years, too, on this game. I've, and in the background, I've been modifying the game myself personally. And this, my game is, is freaking flawless. And I defy any of you to not only say that my game isn't flawless, but to also give me a comparison of another game that looks even close. Because there isn't any. And I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna start a new game here. And I'm just gonna show you the intro, not the full intro. But I'm just gonna show you what my game looks like. And so you can get a feel for not only my intent, but what I mean when I say my game looks insane. So here's the regular intro here. As you can see, the only thing I really did to overhaul the game was maybe switched out the trees with real assets, added uh, cloaks to all the characters and uh, scarves because it's cold. I put physics all over the characters, put bandages on the characters who look like they should have been beat up, like uh, him for instance when he was captured. Uh, complex parallaxing for all the textures, added physics to the outfits, um, camera overhaul so that you can see things you should have been able to see in the default game. And you know what? Just because I'm trolling, I'm going to jump out here. I know you guys have seen that intro a million times. I just wanted to show off the changes that I personally made so that my game not only feels like a modified or upgraded vanilla, but to um, keep the same feeling of the base game. I'm going to jump all the way to Dragon's Reach. And here's another example of advice I've been trying to give that no one's been taking over the years. And keep in mind, you guys don't have to take my advice, but you need to understand if you don't take my advice, your game's garbage. And, then, and in the end, I'm still going to have this. Like, I have I have this game. You don't. So you um, you kind of have to get on board. If you don't take my advice, you're not going to have something that's cool. You're not going to have something that's even close. Um, in regards to mods for, like, the world space and, and stuff, you should do what I call out-of-the-way mods. Out-of-the-way mods are mods that don't edit the world space, but they add items to it. Meaning they don't rearrange anything, they just put uh, assets and accessories in it. That's more important. Overhauls are fine, too, if it's just something simple, like a face mesh overhaul. For exa example, this Jarl here, if you look at him, he doesn't look like the base game, Jarl. Not even close. His face has been um, completely modified. Um, I've modified uh, all of my races to be so different that it's jarring to look at them. Like Irlith, for example. Irlith used to wear like brown or something. Um, the Dark Elves in my game, for instance, all of my Dark Elves have horns. They're very different versions of horns. But my Dark Elves are Dark Elves. So, so they're specifically very evil looking. Um, for her armor, she's wearing what's called Dunmiri armor, which is like a Dunmer armor. If you look at what she's wearing, she's very skimpy and very sexy looking. All of the elves in my game are, are sexualized. That's because elves aren't real women. And uh, you can pretty much go nuts with uh, races that don't exist. Um, again, just out of the way mods, man. Food on the table. I added in an oven into the, the world space. And I'm just covering things as I'm running through it different foods as you can see there's a freaking pumpkin the the apples are varied you don't get just the red apple like in the base game the breads are very it's 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 pretty insane to be able to overhaul this game in this manner because it not only is it are the mods unobtrusive and mods you can take out later i just fixed the rug it was rumpled but um yeah, you can take the mods out uh, uh, later. You don't have to keep these mods. You're not trapped with them. But if I did a world space overhaul, it would undoubtedly just break my game. Which is something that's very common with other modders. And, and by the way, I have 2,000 mods in my game. I haven't even counted my ESPs. Um, or rather, I haven't even counted my ESPEs and my... Uh, what was it? E? ESPFE? Or ESPE? I haven't counted my, my ESPs and my ESLs that don't count towards the plugin load order because I have hundreds of those too in my um my mod manager. So I'm just gonna run down here. I need a set of, of armor. I'm gonna run down here and try to see if I can find like a vanilla base set of armor. But as I'm running there, I'm just gonna run through the world space and just show you the, the very immersive and simple overhauls that I've done to the world space to not only improve it and 
really it's just bug fixes that I have in here. But not only to improve the world space, but to make it um, feel like vanilla still. Oh, actually to feel more like a vanilla game, if that makes sense. In White Run, you'll notice there's these white horses. Um, horses run. And also their, their ivory or white statues. It just it just makes sense to me to put these here. You see the Dunmiri uh, lanterns around this tree. Uh, these lanterns are very immersive too because um, I just showed her to you. Airlith is the uh, the head guard for the Yarl. And it's, I think it just shows um, her bringing her culture here in a sense. Barely noticeably doing it, but I like that. It has done more culture here. There's a mod that added a bridge right here. This bridge was pretty important. It's very immersive. Everything's been overhauled. Everything's complex, parallaxed, and um, it has a mesh overhaul. So everything looks 10 times better than the original game, but it still looks and feels vanilla. Uh, there's the Tallow statue. I've seen this statue replaced with so much garbage. I've seen so many variations of this Tallow statue. The only version of this Talos statue that makes sense to replace Talos with is one that is Talos, which is I did here. The only difference with my statue and the base game statue is that it has complex parallaxing for the texturing, meaning it's bump mapped. And also the sword has been replaced with a great sword. It used to be a one hand sword, and that's so it looks like he's impaling the snake that he's standing on here. What else? There's just there's a ton of stuff here, man. This tree's been replaced. This tree's way better than the base game tree base game tree looks like it doesn't look great um i need to show off i'm gonna show like some cool stuff that i modded in here some immersive but cool stuff i have roses in the world space um they're specifically they're different color types of roses but they're not red roses the only way you can get red roses in this game is because it's regionally edited you have to go to solitude solitude has red roses I don't know why, but I chose to use Solitude as the, uh, the, the more romantic and beautiful looking place. Here's an example of something I personally modified. There's Yolen Greymane. He's, he has SMP hair. See his hair? He has physics. He's overhauled by uh, Sons of Skyrim. Um, Beards of Power. But um, the hair. His hair is... He has physics in his hair. Base game uh, version of Yorlin doesn't have physics. And I highly doubt you're going to find any other... Um, super modded Skyrim or Skyrim build in existence on YouTube that has physics on that specific NPC because that's the type of stuff that doesn't cross people's minds Bells of Skyrim I think I actually saw that in Novus which is this um, crazy mod pack that clutters the game with all types of stuff I'm not gonna say it's a bad mod pack it's just not a it don't it doesn't feel like you're playing Skyrim with that mod pack it's, it's a little too out there in my opinion we're going to run down here. Here's another example of an out of the way mod. This is an NPC. Um, I think her name is Oneen. But look how out of the way she is. Like you don't even, you don't have to talk to her. You can just run by her. And she doesn't um, infect or mess up the world space. There's another example of a Bosper or Wood Elf. See his antlers on his head? All of my races are modified. Um, again, my Dark Elves have giant horns. My Wood Elves have little antlers. My High Elves have nothing. Um, and it's, it's just very, it's super immersive. Um, as in regards to NPCs, if you want to replace an NPC, there's a good example. This is uh, Jennifer Aniston from Friends. I put her over Danica Pure Spring. And I did that because she's a celebrity. If I find any mod that gives me a celebrity for an NPC, I put it in my game. And I have a lot of celebrity. I think this is... um. Catherine Zeta Jones over Carlotta. I think that's Carlotta. But yeah, that's Catherine Zeta Jones. And the textures are modified by hand in order to not only be consistent with the other textures in my game, but also to be hyper realistic. So I've done small modifications to the textures too, so that they look like real people. Another out of the way mod, this is called Missives. It's just a board so that you can go bounty hunting just to give you more stuff to do. Look at my children. My children aren't Cabbage Patch dolls like the base game. I've always hated the Cabbage Patch children. I actually, ironically enough, have seen fully modded games that forgot to modify their children. And the children look horrible. It completely ruins the game when you see that. Um, no fancy, crazy hairstyles on my kids. They use the base game vanilla hairstyles. They're very different hairstyles, of course. But it, it's just so much better, man. Height modifications of every race in my game is a different height. Females, of course, are much shorter. Males are extremely tall. 
uh again it's race dependent so there there are no two npcs or people that are the same race because of the randomizer i have on uh i added the fountains to the world space which is a very common mod that i think every um, build should have because again it's out of the way speaking of out of the way let's get nutty here you want to get nuts let's get nuts Here's a portal to the Star Wars land. I forget what it's called. It just takes you to all the worlds in Star Wars, but it's out of the way. You don't. You're not told to go to it. You don't have to come back here and go through it. I like how hidden the portal is. Like that's insane. That's what people should focus on when you mod this game. Everything you mod into it shouldn't be in your way. And also, and I know I sound like a broken record saying this over and over, but I'm trying to harp on this. And give you guys this advice complex parallaxing if you see complex parallaxing put it in your game let me get in better light complex parallaxing is a, is a necessity look at this it makes everything hyper realistic you can see the puddles in the mud like it's disgusting dude but you can only accomplish this type of um work and if you don't know what complex tech parallaxing is it's just um layers caked on top of each other to give the illusion of 3d meshes when really you're just looking at a texture like you can't tell this is a texture it looks 3d that's because it's shifting with the light um via you know little tricks well so what was i gonna do i was here for armor right i could go in here to get armor but i think you could buy armor in here too and i want to show off i want to show off some more uh, some more of my mods I'm very slick with it Oh, another thing I don't worry about. I don't worry about crashes. My game doesn't crash. It's bug fixed to infinity. I literally have thousands of bug fixes on my game. Because that's the first thing I did when I started modding it. Which is something, a big no-no that all people do. They don't bug fix their game first. That should be priority. And if you run into a mod that doesn't play well with your bug fix, don't put the mod in. Because it's not a good trade-off, people. Here's another example. There's cloaks on all of my MP well, majority of my NPCs. If it's cold outside, they're gonna wear cloaks. There's immersive jewelry. See this ring? The NPCs are wearing jewelry. My texture overhauls are second to none. These are the most realistic textures possible because they're photo scanned skin textures. They're skin ripped from the bodies of real life races of people. This is a black person's skin on this model. Like I wanna harp on that too, because I, I don't see these skin textures anywhere this is a red sonya mod look at her face up close dude she looks so realistic it's it's kind of scary i only let her have this hairstyle because she's um she's a specific npc she's like one of a kind and also this is the hairstyle she will have so whatever it's 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 still immersive it's not too goofy a hairstyle so i let it go there's the elf from um dragon's crown i think it's called dragon's crown this is a little elf girl look at her face I modified her face textures. I completely overhauled her to be hyper realistic. And um she blends, man. She blends perfectly into the world space. Of Speaking of blending stuff, uh there's Yennefer from SC races or from the uh the Yennefer race, which is a Witcher 3 race that's integrated into this game. I personally by hand went through and modified her not only her skin texture, but I went through and modified her body so mesh, a few of her meshes, so that she blends perfectly now. She can wear any armor in the Nord race, which is her race. And um, she blends perfectly. And I'm sure there's a, a speed mod I could probably put in here. So I could just put her in her armor from the game. Here's another example of an NPC being replaced. There's Janassa. As you can see here, I need better light. But as you can see here, she's been replaced with Eva Mendez. If you don't know Eva Mendez, I'm sorry, that sucks for you. Especially if you're a dude. But if you are a dude and you know who Eva Mendez is, you should be flipping out, dude. That looks just like her, dude. But yeah, that's an example. I'll, I will quickly replace an NPC if I can find a real-life celebrity to replace them with. It just makes sense. Um, another example of out-of-the-way mods, which is the advice I'm trying to give to everyone who mods this game, um, is... I think it's called Distinct Interiors. But it's just a mod that puts clutter... It adds clutter to the world space, but it doesn't modify the world space, which means when you hear that term modify the world space, it just means it doesn't shift the original vanilla game um, objects. Like example, this fireplace, if I use like an in overhaul, I'm trying to think of an example. What's like a popular, if you use a popular in overhaul, it would take this fire and like move it somewhere else. 
or it would take this fire and make it like huge. It would like take up almost the entire floor space. It would do something dumb that's going to clash with another mod and you should avoid that you should avoid mods that will clash with other mods if you have need of hunting let me talk to old boy here i have to see if he has armor we sell bows arrows, see what he has for sale a unique combination to be sure take a good look around. see his teeth i'm sure you'll find what you're looking for they're yellow he has yellow teeth there's there's a mod to vary up the teeth for every race um, royalty or nobles have white teeth. All of my humanoid base game races, like the uh, the Nords, the uh, Imperials, Bretons, the Red Guards, all of them have uh, off white teeth. So it's not their teeth aren't like pristine white. So um, nobles royalty have white teeth. Normal races have off white teeth. Dunmiri or Dark Elves have sharp teeth. Wood elves, they have well the off white teeth too. High elves, of course, because they're high elves, they have white teeth. Um, there's also the the missing teeth. I think it's called the missing teeth. Those, of course, are on homeless people. It's just there's so many varied teeth that I can't even pull them on my butt right now. But it's it's a really good immersive mod that mixes up the what races. Let's yeah. see what he has for sale, and it looks good. Know. All right, I got a. I need a. I need just like a, a simple base game set here. I'm kind of broke. I have 268. He's got some cash on him though. All right, let's see if I can sell something. Uh, let's sell these trousers. For that price, sure. Now I'm gonna jump back over to him. I need an armor set, like a base game. I'm gonna do iron. Yeah, let's do iron. Did I buy it? value 608 i can't afford this armor dude are you kidding me but i can get studded all right i get studded i like studded anyway because uh it has a boob window let's do leather and a boob window is uh it better shows off the skin on the other uh, females in my races all right let's bounce out god the cloud looks good man it's it's directly ripped from um from Thank remake you very much for your business Alright, I'm going to... Let's change up my gear. Very quickly here. Let's put the studded on. Look how well he blends. Cloud can wear any armor. All of my races can wear any armor in the game. Which is something I personally... We sell bows, arrows, and modified here. Which is also advice I want to give to other modders. If you add a race to your game, make sure the race can wear all of the armors that you have in your game. And I mean all of the armors. That includes modded armor too. Oh, the poldron. Gotta take the poldron off. I forget it's individual. I'll take this off, this off. I'll take that off. If you have need of I don't need to wear the pouches. Then you've come to the right place. I'll take all this stuff off. There you go. See, now you have cloud in base game armor, which is pretty nutty looking. Let's take uh, let's take this weapon off too. Okay. He's gonna keep his other weapon on. That's an IED function or a uh, immersive sure equipment display. God, those textures look. Mm. All right, so just gonna jump in, go into my show race. Show race should be at the bottom. It's alphabetical. All right, let's jump in here. That's all I was doing. Put on a bit of armor so I can jump through the races or whatever. Cause uh, I have a mod in here so that if you if you put on an armor specifically made for a male character, females won't wear it. So it would have um, effectively stripped my, my female naked when she uh, put on the armor. And that's something I wanted in here. If um, Because it makes sense. Females, if you have a, a male-shaped armor, you can't put it on a female technically without hurting her. Alright, uh, what was I going to show off? I don't even remember I guess I could. Sh oh, in my previous video, I covered my races, and I like trolling you guys because you guys you, you don't want to listen, and you don't have to listen, but you you're stuck with garbage, and I'm not, <laughs> so I don't care. All right, but the thing I want to show off is these excessive races that I have. I could go through these, but I'm not. But I, I have a ton of SC races, which are just races that have model rips from other games. As you can see, my name convention is super detailed. SCF means female, so that means it's a race that I should be female for. SCM means male. There's there's like a few of them. Where down here, there's a handful of them, which is like Cloud, Gerald, not this. 
Cal sees this. I might delete Noctis by the way. I don't, I'm not really a fan of Noctis. And then down towards the bottom you have X, SCXY, which means both sexes. So that means there's male and female characters in the uh, in the race specifically. Um, for example, I believe Resident Evil. Both of these are Resident Evil mods, so it should be like Ada Wong and uh, Leon or uh, Jill and Carlos from Part Three. Things like that. It just jumps between sexes, but it does it in a way so that you're playing with different NPCs, which is really cool. It's really cool. But those are my SC races. I know they all work. You're, for God's sake, you're looking at an SC race um, in the flesh, which is that cloud. But what I want to show, what I want to show, my berserk races. I'm pretty proud of these. Here's my guts um, from the uh, the bag zerk race. And uh, as you can see, it's heavily modified. He's got the full suite on his body. He's got SOS. He's got SMP physics on his chest, belly, butt, legs. It's his junk. He's got he's got a full physics suite. He like looks like a human being. And um, I'm pretty proud of it, man. Pretty proud of it. For me, it's the skin textures. These crazy skin textures that I managed to finagle together and put on him. He's got the giant scar on his chest, like the um the base race as you can see his textures are upscale like crazy just to be as detailed as possible hyper realistic eyes lips eyebrows i feel like i covered this in a previous video i'm not gonna go too in depth jump the hair over as you can see here here's a custom hair that i made that has like the white part on the hair but it's in the same style as the original bags or race hair which looks really cool it looks very immersive it blends with the uh the other npcs well too and if you don't like this hair you can just jump over to the 3d model this is just a model ripped from the um the berserk game here's an alternate version of it that has the white patch for guts looks incredible and then to the right of that i'm guessing yeah it's just a bunch of different hairstyles from um, various different races that if you really want to be goofy and put something on guts my personal favorite hair to put on them is probably this one i like this one this one looks really cool i know a lot of you probably like that one too but yeah, that's my guts that I'm showcasing here. And it's done. This this guts race specifically from Bagzerk, he's fully complete. He's got the whole texture, the texture suite. He's got the mesh overhaul. He uh he's perfect, man. He's freaking perfect. Like I literally can't make this any better. I'm just gonna go down here and just go underneath them. Let's see what else I have. X Commander, she was one. So that's a female. I'll do that later. I'll do the females um, back to back. He is a man generally dissociated from attention. This is Serpico. So inside of the Bagzerk race mod, I actually found a race for Serpico. Still modifying it, but this is what it looks like. I'm guessing he's supposed to be on zero rate weight, just because zero weight makes the most sense. Modification wise, the only thing I'm really gonna tweak on this Serpico race is just the neck part of it. I want the neck to blend and also the hair. I'm gonna overhaul his hair so that his hair looks better. I want his hair to be realistic. And as you can see, I got a, I have a long way to go. But seeing this racing here is pretty awesome just because it, it looks like Serpico. It's pretty cool. So um, this is gonna be my new focus or my new project here, which is making the Serpico race look awesome in uh, Skyrim. Next up, my Griffith. I don't know what weight Griffiths is supposed to be on. What's down his neck? Oh, it's the dirt texture. I don't know how to, I gotta turn off the dirt. It's messing up my, uh. Yeah, it's causing neck seams on my characters. But this is the Griffith race. I can't really showcase this properly because of the dirt mod. I gotta go, uh, get my character a bath or a shower and get this dirt off of him. It's kind of screwing with the textures a little bit. But you know what? Screw it. You get the point. These are all of my races here. Let's jump over, actually. I don't know why I clicked that. You get the point, though. These are all of my races, and they're they're pretty heavily overhauled. I'm going to keep talking my my uh, my junk and keep trolling you guys, just because I know you don't like this. <laughs> and it's funny to me. I don't, I don't understand. People need to take, you need to take my advice. She's supposed to be zero weight. But here's um, Shirk, what she looks like in my game. As you can see, she's completely overhauled. She's got uh, hyper-realistic textures for her eyebrows, her hair, her skin. She's been just completely reworked. Her body mesh has been replaced.
with the base game body mesh um a full SP physics suite body mesh means her butt breast belly thighs everything bounces on the character uh it looks good she blends very well with the world space too she has a giant head but luckily the children in this game have pretty big heads too so it's, it's not even it's not jarring but i just wanted to showcase that while we're here really quickly what was another one I passed? The X Commander. There's Casca. Yeah, here's my Casca here. I don't know what weight Casca's supposed to be. I think she's zero. I have no clue what weight she's supposed to be. I don't know if she's supposed to be zero or max. I guess any any weight works with her. But here's my Casca race I was working on. I had to um place her brows, her hair, her skin. I had to tweak her neck mesh so that she doesn't have that giant seam. Same with Shirk. I had to replace her um or tweak her her mesh too for her head and nip scope so that the gap was gone that gap is hideous on these um these races specifically keep in mind these characters are dirty so it uh, it causes neck seams when the dirt mod is active i probably should have went somewhere and like bathed maybe in the end i should have asked for um, a key to the you know the bathing room but i forgot so this is what i'm stuck with you get you get the point, man. These are my bags are graces. They look they look freaking phenomenal, and um, yeah, it's not much that needs to be said there. For the textures, I'm gonna keep harping about this, man. Like you guys, I don't know what sweet. Look at her up close. Look at the detail there. Look how real that looks. I, I have no clue what textures everybody is using because there's so many texture mods, but they're all bad. They all look bad, man. They don't. None of them look real. It should look like real people, man. Tell me this don't look like a real dude. This looks like a real. This just looks like some guy. <laughs> and that should be the aim, in my opinion. People should just want to make the more realistic your people look, the better your, the more realistic your game looks. You guys have already seen my world space. You know my world space looks realistic. You can't even debate that. But um. So that should give more credence to what I'm trying to teach you guys. You, you need to pick good textures for your characters. Your focus when modding this game, and I'm of course talking to people who mod this, like seriously, your focus when modding this game should first and foremost be the people. Your people should look realistic. And then you focus on the stuff around you. It's kind of like same concept as um let's take a picture for instance. Say you have a picture with the background that's flat some 2d cartoony image like a comic image or something and then you you photoshop on top of that a photo or a person a real life person well your brain's gonna tell you okay the person's real i know that's a real person because it looks like a real person and obviously that person's on a green screen or some type of weird background that's how your brain works that's how it works in the game too that's how you see the game so if your backgrounds are bad and your people look phenomenal Nobody cares because the game, you're still going to be immersed in it. It's still going to feel hyper realistic because the people are actually looking like people. You get what I'm saying? Now, if you invert that same photo and you put on that photo, um, beautiful backgrounds. I'm talking about HD, hyper realistic backgrounds, like the most beautiful backgrounds feasible. And then you plant on top of it terrible model people. I'm talking about Pixar looking uh even, screw it cartoonish looking uh 2d looking people you your brain's gonna be like okay this is fake whatever i'm looking at is this is nonsense this is just a, some cartoon or some graphic a person threw together you can't get immersed in it which goes full circle the focus when you mod this game should be your people you have to have real people am i getting a point across and again, I'm trolling. I'm trolling you guys. I don't care. I could care less what any of you think. And I don't care if you follow my advice. Because again, look at my game right now. As time passes, my game's just going to improve and look better and better. And you guys are going to keep progressing. So you can either jump, get on board, take my advice, or just keep being stuck with trash. Alright, Brody. I love you, man. Later.